hello everyone so in this video what we want to do we want to find the equivalent input impedance of this circuit which means we want to find the impedance that is seen from this point of the circuit z in which is the equivalent impedance of the input now for finding the equivalent impedance we know that we have to take the circuit to the frequency domain because impedance is calculated in the frequency domain so what we're going to do we're going to just redraw the circuit and calculate the impedances so here the input voltage v of t is equal to vm cosine of omega t with a phase angle of phi therefore in frequency domain that would be vm with angle of phi then we're going to have z of c instead of the capacitance and then we're going to have c of l the impedance of the inductor and we know that the impedance of the resistor is actually the same as the resistor so this is r and this is c now when we want to find the equivalent impedance here we can say that these two impedances impedance of the inductor is in parallel with the resistor so we're going to call this z1 and then this was our input impedance z in so clearly we can see that z input is equal to z c plus the parallel of or let's say actually plus z1 because they're in series z1 and zc and then z1 is the parallel of zl and r so first let's find this impedance of the capacitor and impedance of the inductor we know that impedance of the capacitor is 1 over j omega c and the impedance of the inductor is j omega l so the impedance of the capacitor therefore is negative j over omega c because we know that 1 over j is actually equal to negative j and the impedance of the inductor is j omega l now we're going to sub substitute in the equation that we have so before going into this equation of z input we're going to find the impedance one z1 that is equal to impedance of the inductor in parallel with r now this can be written as zl dot r over zl plus r which is the equivalent of two parallel impedances so now i'm going to substitute for z of l so then that would be j omega l dot r over j omega l plus r i'm going to write this as j omega r l and then in the denominator i'm going to write it as r plus j omega l i just changed the place of the j omega l and r now at the end when we want to find the impedance the equivalent impedance of the input we want to see what is the real part of it and what is the imaginary part of it right so the real part and imaginary part we know that for having that the denominator shouldn't contain a j in order to get rid of the con uh, the j in the denominator over here what we can do we can multiply and divide this fraction by a complex conjugate of the denominator this way we can get rid of the j that we have in the denominator and we know that this is actually equal to one right so it doesn't have any effect in the whole thing all right now when we want to multiply these two there is a property of a minus b multiplied by a plus b that is equal to a2 minus b2 right so now here this r is our a and j omega l is our b so in our denominator what we're going to have is a to the power of 2 which is r to the power of 2 plus or minus actually j omega l to the power of 2 
right? And then in the numerator, what we're going to have is j omega r l multiplied by r minus j omega l. Now, let's see if this will get rid of the j in the denominator. So in the denominator, I have r to the power of 2. Now, j2 omega 2 l2 because j omega l to the power of 2. Now, j to the power of 2, we know that is equal to negative 1. So we're going to have plus omega 2 l2. And this got rid of, the, we got rid of the j in the denominator. And in the numerator, we're going to have j omega r2 l, right? Minus j multiplied by j is minus 1, so that would be plus omega 2 l2 r. This is our z1, which is the parallel of the um, inductor and the resistor. So z1 then is equal to the real part is omega 2 l2 r over r2 plus omega 2 l2 plus j omega r2 l over r2 plus omega 2 l2 so that's our z1 then z1 which is the equivalent of the r and l that is over here is actually in series with zc so for finding the input impedance z in is actually equal to z1 plus z c and that is equal to omega 2 l2 r over r2 plus omega 2 l2 plus j omega r2 l over r2 plus omega 2 l2 minus j over omega c that is the impedance of the capacitor now here we can clearly see that this is the real part of the input impedance and the imaginary part of the input impedance will be equal to omega r2 l over r2 plus omega 2 l2 minus 1 over omega c. So this way we have the imaginary part and the real part of the input impedance. All right, so I did this question um, in parameter format so that it can be as general as possible in case you wanna do any numerical questions with it, then you know the concept. Now you can just like substitute the numbers that you want and find the input equivalent impedance of the circuit. And if you have any questions, please link it in the comments down. Please write it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it for more exciting videos. See you in the next video.